So in this video, I'm going to show you a really awesome tool that I found and started using. It's called Excaladraw. And so I pulled up a Google search here just to show a couple of like responses or hits in the search results. Excaladraw is a collaborative shared whiteboard for type text and sketching for doing like hand-drawn sketches and many, many other things. It's useful for summarizing notes and making diagrams for form posts. Is it free? Yes, there is a free version that you can use to do a lot of different things. There's also a paid for version. And here you can see who the creator was. They're listed here. And let's go to the interface now. I know this doesn't maybe look like a lot, but once you start using it, it's very intuitive and very powerful. The main parts of the screen here, the hamburger menu you can see, you can open basically files that are saved to your own system, or if you had one already created, you could save it to your local drive. You can export it. There's different options for exporting your image. Another cool feature is live collaboration. It's a secure way to collaborate with other people on your diagram that you wanted to work on. And you can switch between light mode and dark mode. I'm in dark mode now. In the bottom left, you can zoom in or out. And then here is where you can start to draw shapes or drag things around. So like if I wanted to draw a flow chart shape, let's say, and you can see it kind of has like a background in it that's set over here on the fill. So you can change what that pattern looks like, or you can make it a solid color. You can change the stroke width. You can change the stroke style, the sloppiness of it, what its edges look like. So there's what the shape looks like in that format. You can change the stroke color and background color also. And once you have multiple shapes on here, you can change the layer to move it up or backwards or forwards through the layers. If you want to hyperlink it to any website, you can just click on that and it wants you to type in a URL there. Now, one of the most, I think, innovative features here is browsing the libraries. So if I click on browse libraries, it takes you here to this page and I mean, the page scrolls on for, I don't even know how many hundreds of different sets of like icons and components and I think pretty much anything you would ever need. So like if you want to say, I'm going to do architecture diagram components, I can click on add. And so now you see it shows up over here and you can start dragging and dropping from your library onto the canvas, which is basically an infinite size canvas. And if you need to find other icons, for instance, there's so many different things. Data processing, let's go ahead and add data processing. And you see how it resized that for me as I made it larger. And again, if you click on the shape, you can come over here and change. So you want to change the font size. It's very easy to do that. The font family. If you want the text to align left or right or in the middle, you can set the opacity, which is really nice. And again, layers, you can do alignments here. If you want to duplicate it, you can click a button there to duplicate it. And again, if you need to zoom in and out, it's really easy to do that. There's an undo and a redo button. And so let's go back and look at browse libraries again. And just if you needed a search, you could say network. And so here we have like a VMware architecture 
AWS architecture, Google icons. You can see there's a ton of them there. Network topology, so let's go ahead and add that. So now we have network topology icons. And you can draw, of course, arrows and lines. And if you want to customize those shapes, you come over here again, change the stroke width, the stroke style, lines, straight lines, or like dotted lines. Let's do servers. So we'll add this. And now you can see it added a ton of different icons in here. Kubernetes. Storage icons. SQL Server. So anyway, I think this is a, just a phenomenal tool and it's really super easy to use and flexible to do pretty much any kind of diagram or flow chart or mind map or ideas, collaboration, pretty much whatever you can dream up. I think you can create a diagram in here for it and not have to worry about having all these different icons and artwork available because it's all in this library. So that's an overview of how it works and what it looks like. And you can, again, do pretty much anything you need to with it when it comes to diagramming. But there's another side to it too that I need to mention. And so I've opened several other tabs here. This is the Excalibur GitHub. So it's open source, which is great. This is their main page. It's github.com slash Excalibur. And they say here, it's a whiteboard tool that lets you easily sketch diagrams that have a hand-drawn feel to them. And you can see 48,803 stars, the number of issues, how often it's been updated. I mean, lots of information here. And if we go into the Excala Draw itself, here you can see a release was done just three days ago. There's been eight releases. 282 watching, 3.9 thousand forks, 234 collaborators or contribu contributors, and you can see the languages that make it up, TypeScript, JavaScript, CSS, HTML. And then you can scroll down here on their GitHub page and see how they say here, an open source virtual hand-drawn style whiteboard, collaborative and end-to-end -end encrypted. And they show an example of something they did and how it has all kinds of different like styles and elements on their example diagram there, which is great. create beautiful hand-drawn like diagrams, wireframes, whatever you like. And so here's a list of the main features. It's free, it's open source. It has an infinite size canvas-based whiteboard, hand-drawn like style, dark mode, which is what I was using, customizable, image support, shape library support, localization, export to PNG, SVG, and clipboard. It's open format, export drawings as an Excala Draw JSON file, wide range of tools, rectangle, circle, diamond, like I showed in the toolbars, arrow binding and labeled arrows, undo, redo, zoom and panning support. And so we were looking at the ExcalaDraw.com website up there. And what they say here is that's just a minimal showcase of what you can build with Excala Draw. Its source code is part of this repository as well, and the app features PWA support works offline, real-time collaboration, end-to-end -end encryption, local first support, auto-save to the browser, shareable links, export to a read-only link you can share with others. 
and then they go on to show how you can install it, do an NPM install or a yarn add to your project. And I just, again, think it's an amazing tool and have started using it for doing different diagrams and flow charts and just laying down ideas. You can see how many pull requests there have been, how many issues are listed here in the GitHub project. Just as an example, I switched to the features or releases page here that shows the features, breaking changes, the Excalibur draw library, the updates made to it, the fixes that were done. So you can see a, a lot of things have been fixed with so many people working on it. So you may be able to use this in one of your projects. I think it's amazing. The tool itself, the website, the source code. And then I'll show another page here. This is Excaladraw Plus. So the Excaladraw that we are looking at was free and the Excaladraw Plus is here on the right side so you can see some of the differences view only collaborators here on the right column team based collaboration adding comments versioning is coming soon list of drawings organize into collections automatically sync to the server search templates coming soon and a few other features there that are in the paid version and different ways to get a hold of them there. But you saw the power of the free tool, which is on excaladraw.com. And the pricing, here is their introductory pricing. They like to keep things simple, they said here. There's no tiers, no hidden fees. It's $6 per user per month paid yearly or $7 per user per month paid monthly. And you get 14 days of a free trial that you can sign up for. Here you can see some of the people and teams using it. Coinbase, Stripe, the BBC, Netflix, Gatsby, Twilio, and many others. And they go on to say here, you can always use their free editor, which is what we are looking at. No signup required. It's open source and your data is saved locally or end-to-end -end encrypted when sharing. Everything you create with Excaladraw can be used anywhere, anyhow. It's your own work. So there you go. I hope you find this video useful and that you'll be able to use this tool for helping you write down your ideas for whatever it is that you're working on. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.